Okay, okay, I know I promised I'm going to be doing a uh, series of videos talking about core apps that you want to install in your number one D5 smartwatch phone and that we already have done a series of three videos talking about the proper setup from out of the box until you get this thing fully charged, loaded, and ready to go. Um, but before we get into that, I just got to show you this. I really do. This is a special takeaway um, from the video we did where we talked about the watch faces. As you know, this particular watch and the similar ones, the K8 Mini, which is exactly the same as the D5, the uh, K8, which is a little bit larger and a much more robust screen, something called the K18. They're all the same basic hardware, and they have this feature that is now becoming, well, it's going viral. It's going viral in the developer world because developers are creating specialized watch faces beyond all these stock watch faces that come built into the watch. And I'm going to show you some of those right now. Folks, this is revolutionary. As you know, Apple has watch faces available on their watch. Android Wear has watch faces available in their selection of watches. And there are developers out there making new watch faces, at least in Android Wear. But in the pure Android market, that was never a possibility. You bought a smartwatch and you got the faces that came with it. And if you're lucky, you had a good selection. But the folks over at the XDA Developers Forum are starting to tap into the power of being able to design your own watch faces and drop them into this watch. So today I'm going to show you the first week, maybe two, of of brand new watch faces that have been developed by these folks to go onto these watches. This is collector item stuff. You want to get yourself a download of these watch faces because they are the first ones out to support the pure Android-based smartwatch. And I think you're going to see a lot of these watches coming now that this capability exists. So, we go through all these analog watches and before you get to the digital watch faces, you get to this last one. That's the last stock watch face. If you've got a D5, you can be following along with me. You scroll it one more, the next one would be digital, and there's a several digital watches. But in between there is where the D5 places the custom-designed watch faces if you have them installed. This is one, and a very nice one. This is one of the first ones that was posted as an example. And it's clean, it's simple, it doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles, but it's a very effective, nice watch face for this silver watch. Let's take a look at some of the others. We'll walk through these. And again, these are just the first ones out. Look at that. It's like glow-in-the-dark ink on there. These are all free and available for download, and later on in this video I'm going to show you quickly how you would actually install these. Extremely simple. Here's one where we get a little more elaborate. We've got the power. It's 100% charged along with the date, day of the week, and a simple watch. Clean lines. Dark. This is interesting. Look at this one. An XDA watch that has the battery, the weather, the temperature. Now, again, in the United States, the weather doesn't work on this watch for some reason, at least not yet. So you'll always see just the sunshine and zero, zero for the temperature. There's the steps for your, uh, your walking. So all the little data is also built into this particular watch face. Here's another one. I barely used it this morning so far, so I've only got seven steps on it. About from the computer to over, and now this is fun. Look at this one. This is like a old meters on a on a car. This is the time and hours. It's between nine and ten a.m. And there's the minute seventeen. This gauge from full to empty is your uh, batteries, and the little red arrow shows you how much charge you have. Fifty percent here, and on down to zero is there. So in a quick glance, you can do a computation of what the date, day, and time are and uh, how much battery you've got. Very ingenious. 
This is a nice clean watch. Now this one actually is the first one I tried modifying slightly. Yes, I had to play with it. I don't know the code, but I'm learning by experimenting on taking things away as to what happens. This has the battery and the step count. It also had the weather up here, the sunshine and the temperature would be on the upper part. But since it doesn't work, I extracted those and made this a little more clean. But the uh, one that you'll download has all four of those on there. Here, notice is the same face, but another variation. Now all of those, uh, that information is compact and smaller right at the bottom of the watch. So once you get these downloaded and you get a feel for how they work, you can probably start designing your own watch faces too. It's a pretty easy process and installation. Uh, anybody could do that. Here's a Rolex design with an outer ring and very big hands. And here's the same thing, a little more simplified. You see the thumbnail is the same, but when you touch it, you see what the code underneath is that actually brings up the watch itself. Isn't that sweet? The Rolex Deep Sea. Whoa, okay. You saw one of these featured in a previous video. Here's uh, a shield, is what they call it. And this is the more elaborate one in color and a couple of variations on that theme, like that. And here. So how is all this done? Well, in the uh, listing below this video, and if you're not watching this on the uh, the actual YouTube site, you might want to surf over to uh, youtube.com forward slash smartwatch ticks, all one word, and that'll put you into our channel. And this will be the video on the custom watch faces. And when you're there and you look down below, you'll see each of these watch faces described with a direct link you can click on to go to the page that has the the post uh, on it, the post number is listed. And in that listing, um, in that particular post, you'll find the download link to download a zip file that unzips into a folder. And inside the folder are all the watch pieces and instructions for making these. Okay. Put those into a separate folder on your computer, let's say, because we're going to try, you know, this is one approach. You, you do this all on your computer with your browser and uh, you make a little folder and you drop all these um, watch folders, the clock skin folders into it. And you give that folder the name clock skin. Okay, I think we have just one or two more to show you and then we'll go into that. All sorts of information in here. Aren't these nice? Okay. Oh, 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 yeah, they wanted to show you this. So the, the, you see all of that with the fancy stuff going on there. And here, if I did this right. Okay, this is an Omega one. Oh, yeah, we got the Omega run to go through. So here's the Omega watch. Here it is in uh, white. All these are custom faces developed by different individuals all around the world. And they're placed in this folder, uh, or in this uh, particular stream of consciousness, we'll call it, that you can search for if you're just watching the video. You can Google it. Look for XDA Developers Form, or Developer Form, and then look for... Uh, clock skin collection for D5. So just use those keywords, clock skin collection XDA would probably get you there. This is what I did. I, I took the one that you saw, that really fancy one before, with all of the stuff on it, and just started pulling out files that I thought would make the watch face and would make the little circles and would make the little symbols. And the only thing I was left with were the hands. And now I've got a quick, easy, white hands on black watch. I know, you can't really tell where up is, but if it's on your arm, you got a clue so you could quickly look and say, eh, it's about 20 after 9.
just having some fun. These you will not see in there because I'm not messing with other people's designs without their permission. I'm just doing it for myself. Here's another bunch of hands that are just going around. Now, there's a, 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 a couple of little problems are still being worked out. You see, after the last one, when I scroll over, I get black, a lot of black ones. For some reason yet to be figured out, it puts in a bunch of blank spaces, and then it's going into the digital watches, like I said, which are the stock ones that come with the watch. All right, let me recap where we are. We are in the process of showing you how to install these custom watch faces or clock skins. What you're going to do is scroll down in your install or your default apps that are in here to the file manager. Okay. And if you watch the video we did on the keyboards, this is going to be very, very similar. You can, uh, before you get to this point, you can, you plug your charger dock that goes on the bottom with the USB cable, plug that into your computer. And when you do, it's going to light up and ask you if you want to uh, go into USB uh, sharing, uh, make this a uh, flash drive, for example, on your computer. And you say, yes, you want to do that. And then on your computer, it will show up, you know, as a separate drive. In the folder that you create on the computer, Remember, you're going to name that folder clock skin like this. Clock skin. And you just simply drag that folder with all of the skins over to the watch and drop it into the top level. And the clock skin folder with all the subfolders in it, which are each of the individual skins, will be dumped into the watch. Then just disconnect your watch, turn it off, turn it back on, and start looking at all of your clock faces. They'll suddenly appear. What I did now, each of those clock skins that are on the XDA developer's form for the clock skin collection for the D5 and K8 and K8 Mini, those uh, have specialized names that each of the developers gave them. And I went in based on some more recommendations from within that form, and I just renamed them. I gave them numbers. So each of these numbers replaces the folder name, like the A, B, and C were those ones with the shield, the three, and I just gave them, grouped them like that. And these were the Omega ones. And it turns out, it appears, that when you do that, you can change the order that they'll appear on your watch Based by the number sequence, it will alphabetize it in a sense when you reload the watch. So if you want that Rolex watch at the very beginning, like I did, I made it, made it number 007. When you look inside, you see it has all sorts of information related to the, uh, the hands and the numbers and the dials and all that stuff for each and every one of them in each of the separate folders. So each folder represents a separate clock skin, and they're all contained in a folder called clock skin, which resides in your watch. You disconnect again from the computer, you turn it off, I mean literally turn it all the way off, which of course you know you press and hold, hit the center button, and that'll turn your watch off, then turn it back on. And when it's back on, you're back to the clock faces. And at that point, you just go take a look. Get all, get all those blank spaces. We will learn how to get rid of those. Um, but all of these are, are brand new faces that have been installed, been created by developers and placed inside the D5. So we will be covering now the essential apps, I promise. That's the next thing we're doing. And after that, we're going to, yes, take it open. We're going to look inside. A lot of people want to remove these bands. I mentioned before they look like they're removable, but word is they have antennas built inside of them, and they're not. So we're actually going to get in here and take a good look at what is going on with these uh, straps, as well as what the innards actually look like and how you put your SIM card and all that in there. Um, that'll be coming later, but the um, essential apps is, is next. And if you've missed a few of the series in 
how we set this thing up, you may want to go back to the one on the factory restore, which we did where we kind of wiped everything out and started from scratch. There's some good information on how to archive your applications after you install them. So you only need to go to the Play Store once to download an app, and then you can keep it on the phone. Because there's limited memory, you're probably not going to have as many apps on your watch as you could have on your phone. But you need all those apps, so from time to time you might like load up your navigation ones and unload your music ones So if you're going to go out hiking, and vice versa if you're going to be at home listening to music. Anyway, that's all covered in the Factory Restore video, and the three videos after that cover the essential practice of getting your watch set up so you're in optimal condition from proper battery charge all the way to um, even including putting in alternate keyboards that will be beneficial for you. Now you've got the watch faces, so we are really ready to go. You've got your choice of keyboard, your choice of watch face, your developer designed watch faces that supersede all the ones that have been actually installed by the company. And we will begin installing apps in the next uh, series of videos. Thanks so much for watching, and please, uh, one last comment. Give these developers a little love. If you actually download some of these things and you find them really beneficial, if they've got a donate button next to their little um, blog post on the XDA forum, if it's if it motivates you and you like that design, you might want to remunerate them with a couple of bucks just to keep them interested. And they're doing it out of love and volunteerism, but it also helps to support them too. So they have more time on their hands, right? Hey, you're watching Smartwatch Ticks, and I do appreciate your subscription and uh, your comments and um, your questions. So keep them coming. And thanks for watching, and we will be back.